guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel and to another Whatcha Warming, where I go over the candles and wax bars and um, stuff that I, in home fragrance, that I've gotten through the last few weeks. Most things I didn't like get through, like there's no more of it, um, but just the things that I use throughout the last week or two, uh, I think it's two weeks since I did the last. So I always start with candles. So let's jump into that. First from Homeworks is Island Palm. The notes of this one are watermelon, mango, grapefruit, red fruits, vanilla, and plumeria. This one smells really similar to me to um, Sensi's Skinny Dippin' uh, wax melt that they have. It's that um, tropical fruit, but not super tart and bright. Um, melony kind of has like a beachy um, suntan oil type vibe, just a very beachy, summery type fragrance. And this has been a good one. I'm almost done. I have like a quarter left of it. So the throw on it was around a seven for me. So it was good. Okay, next from Village Candle, we have Fairy Dust. This was from their, I think it was called their Fantasy Collection. Look at the label on it. Super cute. You can see the little fairy right there. Super cute. And I love their candles that have these lids. I just think it's such a unique type of lid. I love it. And I love when you this noise it makes when you push it on. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with the scent, but I just thought I'd say it. Okay, so this is kind of like a dark berry type fragrance. This is a good um, like late summer into fall type fragrance, I feel. The throw on it was also about a six to a seven. Okay, next from Goose Creek is homemade brownies and this does smell like brownies but you know like the fake version of it it's not like you feel like you're baking brownies in the oven it's not bad it is just like straight up chocolate brownies so if you're not a fan of a brownie scented candle or wax you probably wouldn't like it but it is a very strong one eight to nine for me so that is homemade brownies from Bath and Body Works, we have Waikiki Beach Coconut. Now last year, I got this last year. Last year when I got it, it was very light. Um, and I was going to return it and then I just never got around to doing it. So I was like, well, we'll still give it a try. And it must have cured well because it smelled, I could smell it really well now. So. Um, the notes of this one are tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, sun bleached woods with essential oils. So they're, they always say with essential oils. Um, so yeah, this is another one of those beachy, um, fresh air, salt water type fragrances. The coconut is prevalent in this one, but I don't think it's like an overwhelming coconut. You do get those other notes in it too. Um, so it's been nice. I'm happy that I ended up keeping it because now that it's stronger, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a perfect summer scent. The throw is about a seven for me. So that is Waikiki Beach Coconut. And then the last one from the candles is from Village again. This is Citrus Medley, Valencia Orange, Pomegranate, and Raspberry. So it is a... Um, like it says, a medley of citrus type scents with a touch more sweetness um, with that pomegranate and raspberry kind of brightens it up. So it's a really nice one. Um, I got this one in like Ross or TJ Maxx or one of those stores. So they might have it around again this year. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's on the regular vi village um, website anymore. But it is nice. If you find it, pick it up because it is very nice. The throw on it is around a seven again for me. So that's that. Okay. I finished from Yankee Candle. Their milk cups. I finished Afternoon Escape. This one had like 
a citrus in it. It had like juniper. Um, I'm not sure what else, but it was an awe. It's like a very unique fragrance. Um, I did like it at first, but the more I melted it, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It kind of has a cologne vibe to it. Um, but I'm glad to be done with it. <laughs> it was a strong one. I definitely add it like an eight. So that's Yankee Candle, Afternoon Escape. From Goose Creek, we have Pink Beach, which is exactly like Yankee's Pink Sands and Bath and Body Works Flamingo Beach. So if you guys are familiar with those scents, that's what this one smells like too. It's that berry beachy type fragrance. Pink Beach is a good throw, about an eight. Okay, from Super Tarts, we have Augustus, which is chocolate orchid, buttercream, sugar cookies, and orange marmalade. So um, these are all soy wax, and I've come to find out that, which I kind of knew, soy breaks down sooner than um, ones that are mixed or um, paraffin. Um, these break down a little sooner. And so I'm not getting as strong of scents from these um, as I did when I first got them. But this is, it is like a chocolatey, orangey type combination. It's fine, I'll finish it. I wouldn't get it again. The throw on this one was still pretty strong, um, probably a six, so a little more than room filling at least. And then the other one from Super Tarts, Flying Monkey. This is Coriander, Eucalyptus, Lavender, Sweet Orange, Ylang Ylang, Rain, and Spun Sugar. So a very interesting combination. This is a clean, woodsy, um, green, herbally type fragrance with an added touch of sweetness. It's nice, very unique. Um, I do like it if I'm looking for something different. The throw was again around a six, I would say. So that's Flying Monkey. Okay, on to Scentsy. This was from last year's Bring Back My Bar, White Sands. This was one of my favorites from last year's. It's, um, if I remember, it's got like amber. I think it, this is the one that had rice in it, which I thought was interesting. But it does get, there's just like this creamy, musky sweetness to this. It's very nice. And it's a strong one at about a nine for me. So that's White Sands. It's strong and it's long lasting. This one will last a while. Um, so if you can get your hands on it, I do recommend it. That is White Sands. Okay, from the Alice in Wonderland collection, we're all mad here. This is like a berry lemonade um, with a little zinginess, like effervescence. Um, if you saw my comparison video, I compared this one to Monstropolis, the Monsters Inc. Monstropolis. They are pretty much a dupe, dupe for each other. I would say the Monstropolis is, doesn't have that bubbly note like this one does, but otherwise to my nose, they're exactly the same. So it's nice, very lemonade type fragrance. So that's where I'm mad here. I finished. Coastal Sunset. This was new this catalog season. It is going away at the end of the month. Um, right now, everything is on sale or almost everything is on sale in the catalog um, because it's a transition month and next month is the fall winter stuff. Hooray! So because of that, they're having a sale and this is one of the ones that will be retiring. So Coastal Sunset, very nice scent. It is coconutty but it's not like overwhelmingly coconut. There's other things in it. It's amber, it's, it's similar to this white sands, but you get coconut in this, like a creamy coconut along with the other stuff. So it's very nice. That's Coastal Sunset, about a seven for me in throw. I finished Apple Cherry Strudel. This is a very nice scent, but the scent does not last for me in this one. 
but the cherry is nice. It's not medicine-y and it's not um, overly like candied cherry either. And mixed with the apple and you do get a bakery note in it. It's, it is yummy while it lasts. It is very yummy. The throw is about an eight for me while it lasts. So that's apple cherry strudel. My precious Johnny Appleseed. I finished one of these. Love Johnny Appleseed. It's straight up like Macintosh apple. You get kind of a skin, the skin note as well. So good. It's bright and just one of those kind of uplifting, happy scents. And I love it. Super strong performer. It's like a nine for me as, as far as throw goes. Highly recommend it. And FYI, it will be back in the fall catalog as well. So we're not, it's not being retired like it was last year during the fall winter season. So we'll get it again. So I'm happy about that. Otherwise I would have added it to my club. Okay, Tangerine Creamsicle, I finished. This one is one that's retiring too. This is orange but a fancier orange popsicle with vanilla ice cream. So a creamsicle, um, you know, those orange creamsicles, um, but kind of a more elevated version of it. It's very nice, not the strongest. I would say a five, maybe six at most. It's room filling, not really outside of the room type of thing though. Um, so if you are someone that doesn't like your scent super strong, this is a good one. So that's Tangerine Creamsicle. This was from last year's Bring Back My Bar. Happy birthday. I know so many people love this one. It was fine. It's fine. Not a favorite, but I don't hate it. Um, so that is happy birthday. Another one that's retiring, Pina Colada Cha Cha. That's what it smells like. It smells like a pina colada. That's pretty much what it is. It's a very nice one around a seven as far as throw for me. Vanilla Waves. This was new to the catalog this season and it will be in the fall winter catalog still. So, which I'm happy about. So, cause this one is so good. To me, it reminds me of vanilla soft serve. Um, on a, like a home, um, homemade, you know, ice cream shop made waffle cone with like a drizzle of caramel around it and sea salt. <laughs> so good, I love it so much. So good, oh my gosh. So I'm finished this one, but I have more and I'm happy again, like I said, to report that it will still be in the catalog. This is one that is retiring, Mad for Melon. Um, it was new this season, it's very nice. It is a honeydew with some floral notes added in. I like it. Um, throw six and a half to seven. So that is Mad for Melon, another one retiring. So get it while you can or add it to your Scentsy Club. Um, then we have Fiji Flower. This was from the summer collection. I think all the summer collection bars are gone. Oh yeah, they are. That's right. At the beginning of the month, they, they retired them all. So you unfortunately can't get them. But Fiji Flower, this is a Plumeria type floral fragrance. Nice, I prefer hibiscus to Plumeria though. Um, but very nice throw at an eight. Okay, this is another one that will still be in the catalog, the fall winter catalog, and that is My Hero. This is a cologne, sexy man type scent. Um, not as overwhelming as like mystery man to me um but still a nice cologne scent so that's my hero throw is about an eight and then the last one this was also from the summer collection so unfortunately it is not available i have it in my club because i love it and that is blue agave and melon this is a bright sweet citrusy type scent. It reminds me a lot of Camu Camu, which is one of my all-time favorite scents. It reminds me a lot of that. And I might actually like this one more than that now, but I don't know. I might still put Camu Camu in my club because that is another one that's retiring. 
at the end of the month. Um, but this one's so good. Uh, the throw is a seven and a half to eight for me. Very nice. It's one of those happy summer scents that just kind of puts you in a good mood. So that is blue agave and melon. So there you go, you guys. That is what I have gotten through this past couple weeks. I think two weeks has been. Uh, thanks for spending some time with me. Like I said, a bunch of these scents are retiring at the end of the month. So um, my link is in the description. Get them while you can or create a Scentsy Club and then you can get them forever. So Scentsy Club is the best. Um, anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day. And I thank you so much for spending some time with me. Until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.